team of meteorologists are keeping an eye on Hurricane Ian and the impacts it may have right here in the valley. So, Ryan, what's the latest update on Ian's location and strength? Well, that's Ian is approaching Cuba now, and as we look closely at that high-resolution satellite data, one of the things we're starting to see continued strengthening, perhaps starting to see its eye opening up as the storm continues to develop here. Now, the latest observation as of 8 p.m., it was a Category 2 hurricane, winds at 100 miles per hour. But notice that cone, you can see continued strengthening is expected, expected to reach a major hurricane by tomorrow, approaching Category 4 strength potential there and then slowly working toward the west coast of Florida. Now, here's one of the big problems that Florida is going to see. The latest data coming in shows this storm kind of just meandering right off the coast and really hammering that west coast, especially around the Tampa area. And we'll watch and see how that plays out. But this is going to dump a lot of heavy rain, cause a lot of storm surge there and bring a lot of very strong winds to the state. Then it continues to track off to the north. Now, we're going to pay close attention to just where that goes. Now, this is a look at several different model runs showing potential tracks for that storm system. And as it gets closer to the North and South Carolina border, latest data coming in shows it trying to get held up there before moving off to the east. So we're watching as we get to the latter part of our seven-day forecast, there is a chance that some of that tropical moisture could send some clouds and some showers our way. That's why we have this low chance of rain in the forecast for your Sunday and Monday.